Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Lockdown. It is the morning of day 25. And now before we get started with this repair work here, I just want to talk about something that was brought to my attention in the last episode. I don't have any skill points to spend. We spent them last night. But if we put another point into advanced engineering, we will start earning XP from electrical trap kills. 20% at level 3 and then if you continue to upgrade advanced engineering it goes up from there so 35% at level 4 and 50% at level 5 so that's pretty cool I didn't know about that because I was complaining in the last episode that traps are fun but they suck because you don't get any XP from them shows you how much I know I play the shit out of this game but obviously there are plenty of things that I'm unaware of so thank you to everyone who brought that to my attention next time we level up I will definitely be putting a point into advanced engineering so we can start getting XP from these trap kills. Bam. All right. Uh, we got to go plug up this hole in the bathroom. Yeah, see, this is where the zombies came in last night. And they just walked right in. Because I, I was kind of surprised how they got in here so quickly. And that's why. So let me repair these blocks here. And then I'm going to just seal up the bathroom. So uh, they shouldn't see this as a way to get in. Yeah, might as well, right? Fuck it. You gotta take a shit, you gotta do it outside. Uh, there's another room over here. I don't think they broke in this way, though. Oh, they tried to, but they didn't make it. So we'll repair this block, and we'll seal up this room as well. Now, they obviously saw these steps as a way to get to me, and they did get up there using these steps by piling up on top of them. So, uh, we gotta knock this shit out so that doesn't happen again. All right, I'll finish knocking out the rest of these blocks later on with the auger. Now, I want to start upgrading this wall here to steel, but before I do that, I want to go outside and make sure I have enough steel to first repair the support columns for the platform we stand on, and I'd also like to finish upgrading the floor underneath the platform to steel, and then with whatever we have left over, we can start upgrading that wall to steel. There we go, and I want to upgrade these support poles right here as well. Once this concrete dries, we'll upgrade that to steel. Just in case a demolisher blows up near them, I don't want them getting destroyed because they are holding up the bars. And uh, we might as well repair these blade traps since we are going to be putting more points into advanced engineering so we get XP from these trap kills and definitely want to make sure we make use of these things during the next horde. Looks like this is the only surviving electrical fence post that we put in. And of course, that was the one connected to the electricity. Even if the other ones didn't get destroyed, though, they, it wasn't, they weren't doing anything because our output was only enough to run the blade traps. So we need to make sure we put more engines in the generator before the next horde so we don't have that problem again. Oh, we're out of steel. All right, then. I guess let's hit the road. We'll go do some looting. Well, I can't not check the girls' club vending machine. It's like a motif of the series. We gotta check it every morning. I wonder who fills this fucking thing up anyway. God damn it. I'll buy the Rockbusters, though. All right. Let's go find somewhere to raid. Hey, I didn't know Freddy's house was in this town. Let's do it. Nothing in the mailbox. Now, I, this was Nancy's house in the first Nightmare on Elm Street, but I think it was like in the third or fourth movie. Oh, shit. Fuck out of my way. We got two cops in the kitchen. Come on. God damn it. Go down. He's gonna blow. Not by my bike. Oh, son of a bitch. At least he didn't blow it up. We'll see how much damage he did to it, though. No, not bad. Ow. Oh. This guy pukes on it. Ah, still not bad. All right. We're good. But, uh, as I was saying, this was Nancy's house in the original Nightmare on Elm Street film, but I think it was like the third or fourth movie they hinted at the fact that this was Freddy's house at one point. Now, I got the basement down here. Oh, is that a big boy? 
No, it's another cop. Damn. Come on out of there. Let's go. Here we are. Dead. Crawler. Usually there's a pig on that table. That's what I was hoping for. Figured we'd get some more meat. There's a grip mod. The structural brace mod. I believe whatever you put that on degrades slower. There's the plaster cast schematic, which heals a broken leg quicker, but you need cornmeal to craft it, so fuck that thing. Alright, the main stash is in the basement, so let's clear the upstairs first. Then we'll do the basement and get out of here. Bing! Bop! Oh, damn! Sorry, Mo, I didn't know you were in the shower. Another cop! What is this, the police station? That's good, though. Starting to get more difficult zombies in POIs. I imagine we'll, uh, see- Oh, shit! Green guy! That's what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna say, I guess- I guess, uh, the next horde we should see... ...some more difficult zombies like cops. More radiated zombies. I would hope so. I was expecting it, you know, in last night's horde. And we still only got a couple of, uh, radiated spider zombies, and no cops showed up last night. I guess because they were all hanging out in this fucking house. Oh, thanks, big boy. Some coin and motor tool parts. Wood splitter schematic that we already know. There's a backpack in there. All right, let's go do the basement, and then we'll be done here. Oh, cop number five. Oh, shit, forgot to reload. It's like a damn convention. Oh, hey, thanks for shitting out that loot bag. Appreciate that. Forged iron, some shotgun parts. And I think that's it in terms of zombies down here. So we'll just finish looting and move on. Wasteland treasures, doorknobs. Oh, this is a good one. We can get brass doorknobs now from uh, breaking down doors. Oh, level six wrench. It's better than our level five. I'd like an impact driver. I know we still haven't even gotten a ratchet yet, but if we can skip right over the ratchet and go straight to the impact driver, that would be ideal. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot I put the rat remover on this wrench. I said I wasn't going to forget, and I forgot. We'll put that, uh... I can't put it on the marksman rifle. I'd rather keep the, uh, the red dot and silencer on there. All right, we'll just hold on to it. We'll find a weapon to put it on later. Here we go. Is the main stash. Let's chop these bodies up. This one, too. Get some nitrate powder, and we just leveled up. That's nice. We'll put that uh, skill point into advanced engineering here in a second. Whole bunch of drink, and our inventory is just filling up. Let's, uh, let's drink the red tea, scrap this can. Let's see what we got here. Some ammo. Backpack. Nitrate powder. Uh, I think all we have left is this chest here. Nice. Uh, I want that knife. Let's drink this yucca juice and take it. And we might as well grab this wood. Alright, well let's go right here and do this little strip mall. Plenty of loot in this place, like four POIs, all connected. We got the poppin' pills, the Shamway Foods, Easy Sofa, and Pete's Pub. Guess we're starting here at the poppin' pills. Let's 
So many cops today. That's what, like the sixth cop we've killed? Oh, we can squeeze under there, I wasn't sure. Come on out of there, nurse. One feather? Fuck your one feather. Ooh, antibiotics, that's good. Let's see what we got here. Ah, uh, splint? I don't want that splint. I'm good on that shit. I'll take the nitrate powder. Fuck this splint. Now watch, I'll fall off the roof. Hey! Stores closed, you fucks! Can't you tell by the boarded up windows? Fuck you, Mo. Gotta go right for the register. Some coin and some paper. Hey, some chili. Alright, so... I'm gonna let you all in on a little secret. Got a new series coming out. This week. Farmer Glock. We're doing it. I decided to just... We're just do it. We're just gonna give it a try and see how it goes. Oh, we already read that challenge, so we'll scrap it. I don't want to wait until Alpha 20, because when Alpha 20 starts, I want to do the Ramblin' Man series. I also want to revisit Nightmare. I've got some plans for Alpha 20. So I figured, I don't know how long it's going to be till Alpha 20 drops. I think it's going to be at least another couple of months. Maybe sooner, I don't know. Um, but fuck it, I don't want to wait any longer. I want to try Farmer Glock and see how this works out. Because not only are we going to be growing our own garden slash farm, but I'm going to make it a vegan challenge. So we cannot consume any type of animal products, not even in canned food form. So no chili, no chicken, none of that shit. I don't know how many of the canned foods there are that don't have meat in it. I know there's like pears, and I think that's pretty much it. So uh, we're gonna play on a random gen world. I'll reveal the seed uh, on episode one. Uh, we're going to spawn in front of a barn, and that's where we're going to set up our home and our base. In terms of the horde and the other settings, I'm not exactly sure yet. I will reveal all of that on episode one. Uh, and that's pretty much going to be it. So that's going to be like the main challenge of the series is surviving without any animal products whatsoever. So we are going to be forced to grow a garden, grow a farm and scavenge for um, vegetables, I guess. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. I'm not gonna kill any friendly animals for any materials, not leather or anything like that, unless, it's, uh, unless they're threatening us. So if it's a wolf or a bear, we are free to murder it. But I'm not gonna be killing any chickens or rabbits or uh, deer or anything like that. If we need leather, we're going to either need to get it from zombie dogs, bears or wolves that attack us. We're only, and we're only going to fight them if they attack us. If we spot a wolf in the wild, we're going to let it be. Unless, like I said, it comes after us first. Uh, but we can also get leather from uh, office chairs, from couches. So there are plenty of other ways to get, to get leather. Uh, animal fat is, again, going to have to come from uh, zombie dogs or uh, wolves or bears that attack us. So, it's it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a way I've never played this game before, so that is definitely gonna make things um, interesting. The, the skill points that we're gonna have to invest in is gonna be completely different. That's another thing I'm thinking. Uh, we're gonna go brawler. I don't know why, I feel like that fits a farmer, you know? So, and that's something I've never done either is I've never ever put any points into Brawler before, so uh, we're gonna do that as well. I think it's gonna be fun. We're gonna do it alongside Lockdown. And we're just gonna run these two series, Lockdown, and I don't know if I'm gonna call it Farmer Glock, or The Farm, or Farm Town. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, but we're gonna run these two series side by side until Alpha 20 drops, then, uh, then we're gonna do something completely different at that point. And if the Farmer Glock series uh, is a lot of fun and we really enjoy it, then we can do that again uh, in the future.
Here we go. This is where the silencer comes in handy. We'll take out the bird first. Uh, what the fuck? What's the point of a silencer if it's just gonna wake everyone up? I think some of this floor gives out. I'm not worried about this cement and cobblestone. We have so much of that shit. Let's get on this steel beam here, and uh, they're just walkers. So let's hop down there. She dead. Come on out of there. I don't know where Mo went. He walked out the door. Where are you at? Come on out of the bathroom. You're dead. Here's Mo. Oil. Acid and uh, hobo stew recipe. That's one thing uh, I didn't mention when I was explaining this new series. We're going to have to use cornmeal. This is gonna. Ha I don't know if this is gonna be like the end of cornmeal hatred from this point moving forward, or if it's just gonna be for this series or what. But we're gonna have to be able to use cornmeal in this this farmer series because you can use cornmeal to make cornbread. And a lot of other recipes where meat isn't involved. So, get ready for that. Let's go, wake up. There's a hole in the wall. I think that leads to the same room, right? Yeah. They're going for the door. Let's let them out. Where's Mo at? Did he go through the hole in the wall? Yeah, he did. Trying to flank me and shit. I respect that, Mo. I think there's a zombie outside trying to get in. Oh, there's one trying to get out of this door over here as well. Some coin. Bang, you're dead. Oh, wall safe. Yeah, I think there's one trying to get in through the front door over there. All right, well, let's close this door. Loop this little room, crack into this wall safe. Now, we do have lock picks on us, but I'm just going to smash into it because I'm pretty sure there's a hardened chest at the end of this, and I would rather save those lock picks to try and crack into that thing. Ooh, level six club. Doesn't get any better than that. Let's go ahead and switch out our level two for that. Take the flaming mod out of the level two, put it in the level six, and we still got room for three more mods in this bad boy. So we'll have to go through our mods when we get back home, see if we can use anything else in there. Hey, buddy, want to try out this new club I got? It's a level six. Oh, that's either a big boy or another cop. Where'd that come from? Oh, he's, he's in the kitchen. He's working the kitchen. Hey, all right. Well, I'll take uh, pastrami on rye with the sauerkraut and the melted cheese. Oh, oh, well. Here we go. Guess I'm settling for cat food. Here's a challenge. Let's go ahead and read it. Hey, bastard. <laughs> uh, kill some lumberjack zombies with an axe. I'm assuming my battle axe counts as an axe. Only problem is, now we gotta find lumberjack zombies. I don't even know where the snow biome is on this map. Here we are. They're up in the ceiling, aren't they? Well, come on down, then. Ooh, multiple green guys. This is when four-round magazines aren't the best. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright, Moe's dead. Still got two more, though. Fuck off, Kenny. All right, two down. Here comes another moat. Oh, shit. Someone fell. I heard, uh... I heard someone fall down the steps or some shit. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see it happen. Oh! <laughs> that looks funny. I'm sorry we missed that fall, Mo. It was probably really epic. Ah, see, I knew there was a hardened chest at the end of this. Sometimes I know what I'm talking about. All right, let's see if we can get in here with our lock picks now. 
Nope. That's a shame. Oh, nice. Look at that. Let's scrap this machete. We can put this spike mod on the club right now. Let's do that. Check that out. That looks sick. Um, let's, uh, let's scrap this thing. I don't need that padded chest armor. All right. I think we're good. Let's get out of here. Well, I was going to call it a day and go down in the mine and get some work done, but fuck it. Let's go back out for a little bit. Oh! Damn bird! That better be some fucking loot up here. All this climbing and shit. Probably should have brought no shit drops. If I fall from here, it's game over. A backpack. Let's see, was it worth it? Nope. Can't even enjoy the view from up here because of how foggy it is in the burnt forest. Let's get down and try not to die. Root awakening. Some lock picks. Is that it? Not even a wall safe in this place anymore? Man, the cell tower has changed. And I don't like it. You know, there's a super easy way to grab the main stash out of this pawn shop. You just go in through the back here. Well, either way, you have to go in through the back. You're supposed to go up this ladder, though, and start on the roof. But instead of doing that, we can just bust through this garage door right here. And I think the iron plates only have, like, 300 hit points. So even if all you have is a stone axe, you can still do this really quickly. Yeah, 300 hit points. And then you can just abuse the zombies through this little window. And it's just that easy. Got a plug here on the floor. Oh, that's iron. Eat this food, and then we'll check these books out. Charge strike. Uh, Alright. That's a stun baton thing and a brawler thing. Not worried about either of those books. I doubt we'll get into using the stun baton in this series. Like I said in a few episodes back, if you really want to use that thing, you have to dump points into Electrocutioner. Otherwise, it's fucking worthless. And... I don't really want to put points into that skill tree right now. We got two lock picks. Let's see if we're uh, good enough to pick this safe. Nope. Oh, that sucks. All right, well, that was quick and easy. Miss this trash right here. Lead and duct tape. Got that trash already. Should we get up on the roof and kill the zombies up there just for shits and giggles? Why the hell not? Might be a bird up here. Hey, buddy. You dead. Woke someone else up. Dead. I guess that's it. All right, well, not a bad day. Got a good amount of loot that we need to go through and organize some more in here. Plus, our inventory is full. Got a level 6 steel club. Can't complain about that. And the base is looking pretty good. Not much more repair work to do. Uh, we'll see if we can find some more blade traps to buy when we go see the traders on Horde Day. And uh, I want to build some more electric fence posts, but I'm not sure how I want to run those yet. Because uh, they seem to get destroyed pretty easily, so I'd like to see if we can maybe build a barrier of some sort around them, or somehow protect 
those posts from being destroyed. I'm going to grab some steel here. I got some more in the forge. Let's go do a little upgrading right now. Whoops. We can't go this way. I sealed that all in. Let's go get these support columns here to steal. This shit's still drying. It's so dumb that the concrete doesn't dry if you're not around. That's silly. But, uh... Yeah, if we can get some more blade traps, we'll put more blade traps in. Uh, we'll put some electric fence posts in, and I think that'll be good. We do know the recipe for a dart trap, so that's something we can consider as well. And if we're going to do all this shit, we definitely need to put a few more engines in the generator. Now, I have a couple in inventory, but I'd rather not use them. So, uh, I mean, we can. But either way, while we're out tomorrow, we should take some cars apart, see if we can get a couple of more engines. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Lockdown, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.